This is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this tutorial on Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro 5. We're taking a look at Express Track, which used to be a part of the Network Edition, but now it's available free with all the music that you buy from Smart Sound. And that's great because Express Track is a wonderful program. Express Track is the right program to use when you want to pick your music first and then cut your picture to it. Editing your music on a timeline which is another feature inside Sonic Fire Pro 5, is a better choice when you've got your picture cut and now you want to add music to it. And we'll talk about that in other tutorials. Let me show you how it works. I've already installed the music to my system, and I'm able to see all the different clips that I have access to on my system by simply scrolling through this list down here. If I wanted to listen to a clip, I just click on it and click this right pointing arrow. <laughs> and if you're done previewing, you just click this button right here and turn it off. This right pointing button allows you to preview or not preview. And we've got hundreds of pieces of music to choose from. Notice we've got two different icons here. We have a multi-layer icon and a single layer icon. Think of this as a multi-track and this is a stereo track. For instance here with Bikini Beach. Okay, and if we play the multi-track. Well, they sound like music. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is in how we can work with them because this is a standard stereo piece of music. But here, with a multi-track, we're able to actually change the instrumentation. And I'll show you how in just a minute. So we've seen that we've got multi-track clips and we've got stereo clips. But there's actually far more that we have access to when we turn on this checkbox called the Smart Sound Store. Now, we have gray icons as well as blue icons. The gray icons are all the music that's available to you from Smart Sound via the Internet. For instance, if I click on a clip, it automatically goes to the Internet and says, well, let's take a listen. The benefit here is I don't even have to own the music. It could be 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm desperate to finish my project and all I need is one short clip and it's nothing like I've got in the library. I don't have to rush down to the store. Finding it becomes blindingly fast. And if you like it, all you have to do to buy it is click the buy button and it takes you through the whole purchase. You can buy the disc or just download the single. And it's one click easy. Enter your credit card and you're done. But there's more than simply scrolling through and picking clips. For instance, let's take a, a listen to this piece of music here. Let's find Autumn Road. Because I want something that's on my system. Let's preview it. Okay, but notice that the length is set to one minute. I don't need it to be one minute. I want it to be, say, 23 and a half seconds. So I type in the duration that I want, and that quickly, it's dropped the music into a mix master and spun it around and created a whole new piece of music with a beginning, a middle, and an end. That's exactly 2315. Or maybe I don't want something which is 2315. I want something which is 10 seconds long. As fast as you can enter the duration, it can come up with a variation of the music. Not only one variation, but notice that we've got two different variations that sound different. For instance, let's type in six seconds, not 60, but six. I've got four different variations of that six second piece of music. I've got this one. Notice it's got a beginning, a middle, and an end, and this is entirely different.
They're all in the same family. But they don't sound the same. This is hugely flexible when I've got, say, a half-hour program and I want to have a consistent musical theme throughout the entire show, but I want to have a different bump to break every time. Create the six-second bumper, 10-second, 12-second, select the variation that you want. But it gets even more exciting than this because we're able to actually change the instrumentation. For instance, let's fix something. <laughs> let's fix something completely out of the ordinary. Let's go for chicken. Let's just turn off the store here and go for chicken boogie. Take a quick listen to it. Well, that's a little bit on the different side. Let's make it 10 seconds long because it's easier for me to show you what we've got. We've got a variety of different variations. We've got three. But look at what we've got for mood. Mood is a way of, of looking at the individual instrumentation. For instance, if we listen to it full... I think that meets every serious documentarian's need for something emotional and heart tugging. But listen to what happens if we change it from full to dialogue. Notice that it's gotten softer, and it's specifically designed to have somebody talk over the music and have both the music and the person sound good. Or we could say, let's just listen to the drums and the bass. Have you noticed that I'm able to change the actual instrumentation just by selecting from one of these pop-up menus? <laughs> Could you imagine how hard that would be to do on a stereo clip? Right. It's impossible. So we can select any length that we want. We can have it give us a variety of different variations. We could even select the instrumentation. Now, the instrumentation can only be selected when you're in a multi-layer clip. Stereo clip gives you variations, but not the instrumentation. That's why the difference in these icons over here. And finally, when we're ready to go, let's say that we want just the, uh, oh, let's go full. We'll take the full version. We'll take the lineup variation. It's 10 seconds long, and we're ready to get it out of our program. So we go up to the file menu, go down to export soundtrack video. We want the complete soundtrack. Now, there's two choices here, AIF and WAVE. If you're on a Mac, you want to export as an AIF. If you're on a PC, you want to export as a WAVE. We're on a Mac, we'll export as an AIF. Click Export. It says, this is what I'm going to call it. I click Save, store it to your project folder, and that quickly, your music is done and ready to go. From a standing start to picking a style that we like, to picking a length that we want, to picking a variation, to picking the mood, it could not be easier. But this only begins to touch the power that's in Express Track, because we haven't started to look at how we can find specific feelings, specific emotions or styles of music. We're going to talk about that in the next tutorial. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.